Hello YouTube, in this video I'm gonna talk to you about becoming a professional dreamer and this stuff is cutting edge, you know, you probably can't get these techniques and this stuff from anywhere else because this is my combination of huge amounts of techniques and wisdom from like, from like so many books and from practical practice in this stuff, like this is real, real stuff that you can learn. This is not some like hogwash, you know, just like believe stuff. This is real. And you need a notebook for this technique. And I have a, I have a brand name notebook by Paul Smith. And I, I kind of like crystallized this idea through this notebook. And we are gonna combine two different uh, techniques over here. We are gonna combine dreaming techniques and astral projection techniques. And we are gonna blend the line between like astral projecting out of body experiences, which you're gonna experience if you do this right. And with like dreaming techniques and lucid dreaming techniques. So if you're interested in that stuff, yeah, this will take you to the next fucking level. And that's why that this video is named Becoming a Professional Dreamer, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who will pay me for this, but you know, we're gonna. Um, uh, this, is, this is in Finnish, but you, I'm gonna tell you the basic idea over here. We have a spread in the notebook and every time uh, you are trying to like fall asleep instead of, instead of like normally falling asleep you do an astral projection technique so you lay down and you take one hour out of a timer. We do this in one hour increments. We dream in one hour with one, with the one hour timer, you know. I use this kind of timer. This is like this is like a, like a bright light lamp at the same time as being an alarm clock. And you take one hour out of this and you lie down and you start imagining this staircase. Or or this ladder, this like this like rope ladder, and you climb it in your mind, and you start seeing this. You start visualizing like things. You could be like visualizing other places, you know, like all kinds of things, all kinds of memories. And this is kind of like your psychoanalytical part of this practice. You write the stuff. Uh, down the easiest way I have done this this uh, over here it means hour 19 here we have a box and we put a X on it which means that uh, which means that I have tracked it in my time tracker but otherwise you know uh, you're gonna write over here what you saw in the in the like uh, climbing the ladder part of the practice and if you fall asleep you on the other page over here you're gonna write what dreams you had when you wake up and true when you continue this on you when you go like from a dream to visualization from a visualization to a dream over and over and over again and you do it in one hour increments you're gonna be in the be in the REM state you know the rapid eye movement state for a longer period of period of time in your like in your like uh, sleep because uh, the dreams happen in a, like a shallower type of like dreaming state because the the dream state where there are no more dreams where you where you don't have eye move eye movement it happens in a deeper in a deeper state of sleep and that all of course happens uh, like later in the sleep cycle so we take the best part of the sleep cycle and we keep repeating it over and over and over again and the funny thing is that i have noticed that this might even be a more powerful way to like charge up your batteries if you like if you like uh, suffer from sleep uh, deprivation or like if you suffer from insomnia this is a cure for insomnia you don't need medicine you need focus you need to focus and you could combine this technique with uh, meditation if you combine this stuff if you're like a, that type of like a spiritual visionary type of person that can do this stuff you know for like weeks at a time at some retreat or at your home then combine this stuff with meditation when you're waking when you are like woken up meditate 
when you're feeling kind of drowsy, start to like visualize stuff, then fall asleep, write it down, see what happens. This is amazing. It's kind of like you flip your life around, you start to live on the other side. And you can do this with so few resources, you know. You don't need much. You can cut, you can cut, if you want to really do this, you can cut down almost all calories from your diet. Because you do, you start to live like this, you know, it might be kind of dangerous, but, but you start to live like, kind of like this, you really don't need much energy from like outside world, you know. And it's awesome. <laughs> like the stuff I've seen through this, it's amazing. There's another reality out there. There's another dimension out there, I'm gonna tell you. And I'm gonna tell you a vision I had in the next part of this video. But if you're suffering from like like some problems with your life, like from overwork, for example, I feel that you could charge your batteries better by sleeping eight hours in one hour increments and doing this, which is gonna take about nine hours in total because you have to write something. Uh, but but I feel that you're gonna dream better. I feel that you're gonna see more dreams. I feel that you're gonna charge up your batteries better than just sleeping through it all. Because I feel that the human mind has something to tell you and you are not gonna get the message if you don't do this. That's the real secret behind this. And I saw this one dream and it was like fucking visionary, you know. I saw this cyborg thing and the cyborg was kind of like the human spine had attached itself to this like machine type of head but it was kind of like you could tell that it was originally a human being but it was made out of this like maybe metallic or some kind of like these plates which could like make make the like spine you know like bend and it was swimming through like air like some kind of like sea creature it could swim in the air like like fly but it swam you know in the air and the creature i was i started to think that like the, like a mind without the limitations of the like like you know the limbs and all of that you know that's amazing still shit like that imagine that yeah thanks for watching that's the technique for you and you know, imagine a mind without the limitations of the your hands, your, you know, like what could it be? What are the limitations over here?